guys, so this week not a whole lot, but I'm just going to be covering a name change, something very interesting I noticed that affects LEGO Star Wars, as well as we're going to be looking at the list of retired sets which came out, so very interesting stuff. We'll start with the retired sets, probably the biggest news, and all these sets will be retired in December 31st, so don't worry, you still have time to get them if you're looking to pick them up, and that includes Christmas, so y you'll be fine. Uh, but first up, we have the Sith Mosaic, the Resistance Wyoming Starfighter, and Obi-Wan's Hut. No surprises there, hopefully they bring out a new mosaic for Star Wars. Here's the brick sketches, I always forget that these even exist, so I honestly don't care that they're going. I'm quite happy in fact. Uh, if they did a Vader, it might be interesting, but I have no interest in these. They're cool for what they are, but not a great concept. Uh, then we have Darth Vader's Castle, the ATSD Raider and Kylo Ren Shuttle, all great sets. If you don't have Darth Vader's Castle, get it, definitely, it's my favourite set I own, so definitely go pick that up. Other than that, we also have the Mandalorian Battle Pack, quite a sad one to go if we don't get Battle Packs in 2022. That'll be the last one on shelves. We also have Luke's Landspeeder, Poe Dameron's X-Wing, and the A-Wing, the UCS one. Uh, so it kind of sees, sad to see the U UCS one go, but it does make sense. The Stormtrooper Helmet and TIE Fighter Pilot Helmet are also going. Uh, the Bother Bow Fett Helmet is staying, so that's pretty good. Anakin's Jedi Interceptor. Uh, pretty sad to see that go, and the Night Buzzard, no surprise there. Finally we have the Mandalorian and the Child Brick here, I thought they were already retired. There is some Sartius Transport, their Star Final Jewel, and General Reeves' Starfighter. Uh, so those were all last summer's wave, so no surprises that they're being retired here. Now moving on to something I noticed in a catalogue uh, that I did a video on if you want to check that out, but in the background of the Boat Fett Starship set in it, uh, we saw Bespin, which is very interesting because of the original rumour that it was going to be Empire Strikes Back based and come with Han Solo and Boba Fett, which didn't end up becoming true, but with the Bespin background, maybe it was originally true and they changed it for the Book of Boba Fett or just the Mandalorian's hype. We'll never know, uh, but I thought it was pretty interesting and why not bring it up in this week in LEGO Star Wars. So not exactly Lego Star Wars news, but the Bad Batch had its final episode and now season 1 is over. Pretty sad to see it go, uh, luckily there will be a season 2. I really enjoyed the show, let me know your thoughts down below. Overall I thought it was a pretty good Star Wars show and one of my favourite Star Wars shows. Moving on to next week, it's not exactly next week in terms of this week in Lego Star Wars, which comes out on a Wednesday. Uh, but Gamescom is being held next week, I guess, on next Wednesday through to next Friday, and there is going to be an announcement for LEGO Star Wars Saga, at least they've, te they've teased that, uh, so we can expect some news there, and I guess I'll be covering it in the next two weeks. So we could also see the Ahsoka Brickheads be revealed, but other than that, I'm not expecting too much. Uh, there could be something, but who really knows? I really don't expect anything. No set reveals, probably, other than the Brickheads. And that's it for this week, uh, not too much this week, some small stuff, but the retiring list is pretty interesting. However, yeah, let me know your thoughts down below, however that will be off today, I hope you enjoyed this video, please remember to like and subscribe. That'll be all folks, goodbye.